welcome to Riley's Roost People tell me they have quite a hoot And there's just no way of knowing who to stop on by And say hi Well every morning when the sun comes up You'll find me with my coffee cup Heading out back, guitar all tuned up I got another idea to be made up in a song In the shack in the back <laughs> Well, welcome to Riley's Roost. I'm Riley Madison here in the shack in the back. And joining me today is my good friend, Cody Prigo. How's it going, Cody? It's going great. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming to my little, you know, roost in the backyard. It's incredible. You know, it reminds me, I built a cabin when I was about 16 years old back home in yeah. Saskatchewan. Uh-huh. And it reminds me of being back home. So it's it's great to be here. Well, living living in Nashville for like eight years now, it was important to me to have my own little space yeah for sure so this is what i came up with this Put is incredible turn it into a writing shack lots of history in here too <laughs> we've been having a lot of fun in here yeah it's so great. tell me where you're from how long have you been doing music i'm i grew up in archwell saskatchewan it's yeah. ta- small town it's about 300 people basically my mom owned the small town bar she still does own the small town bar there and my dad farms so uh, i grew up on a farm just outside of town yeah. and i started playing music when i was about 14 years old mm-hmm. so it's you know it's been about 15 years now that I've been playing for and I basically got encouraged my, by watching my mom and my uncle play around campfires and at family reunions and I, I'll never forget you know seeing them play just pick up a guitar and yeah. start singing and they they only knew about three chords between right. the two of them but together they could play about 20 songs and yeah. I just remember the joy it would bring to people oh, and fun. you know sitting around I was watching and I thought you know that's pretty cool that they can just with an instrument and a voice they can bring joy to people and and make them feel something yeah and I thought you know if I could do something with my life one day like that that's what I would love to do and Absolutely. and that's what I that's what I went for after I graduated when did you start your journey to Nashville and what what do you do when you're here well it's an interesting story you know, I always had a dream of coming to Nashville, yeah. but I wasn't sure how I was going to make that dream come true. It's not every day someone in Archwell wants to become a singer and, you know, tour around. Small and, town of 300 people. Yeah. I'm going to go to Nashville. So when I graduated from high school, you know, I knew that this was my goal and yeah. I knew that I wanted to make it happen. I just wasn't sure how I was going to do it. So my dad talked me into going to college for a year. Mm-hmm. So what I did is I took out the book for college and picked the thing that took the least amount of time to get, but paid the most money. <laughs> and I actually became an electronics technician. Okay. It was a one year course. But through that year of college, I met a guy named Al LeBlanc. Right. And and he was Al's working. a huge part of your life. Yes. And yeah. Al was working in a studio in a small town called Alsham, Saskatchewan. Okay. And so Al's like, oh, I'm working in the studio. They had built this studio for a guy who had been in a car accident named Rory. Mm-hmm. And he had become a quadriplegic and he was a musician his whole life. And so they built him this studio in this small town that he could run with his eyes. So it was just incredible. Wow. But Al was helping him out there. Uh-huh. And bringing in bands, setting up the mic, setting up the gear, and then Rory would run the studio with his eyes. Wow! And yeah, it was That's just it's something that I had never seen before. Mm-hmm. And so I started working there, and every month I'd go back, and Al and I started writing songs together. Hmm. And it was a couple months after this started, then I asked him if he'd be interested in booking me some shows. I told him my goals of how I want to, you yeah. know, pursue music and how I thought I needed to start playing to do that. Yeah. So he said, we'll learn 30 songs and I'll book you some shows and take a month and learn those 30 songs right now. So he calls me a week later and he's like, are you ready to play? And I was like, well, what do you mean? He says, well, I've got you a show booked for next weekend. (laughs) So there I was, I showed up with my music stand and my 30 songs on printed off of cowboy lyrics. And I just, that's how I started playing. And nobody could say no, because I was charging a hundred bucks and I'd play a full night of music in the, in the bar and they'd sell five beer and pay for the band that night. (laughs) But it was like, it's such a great experience, you know, just me and my guitar getting out there in front of people. Mm -hmm. That's, you know what I mean? To any artist starting out, I just encourage you to get out there and just, even if it's just you and your guitar, just pick it up, get out there and play in front of as many people as possible. Well, thank you so much, Cody, for coming and hanging thank out you. in the shack in the back. And Anytime. It's always good to see you. And, you and, as well. Uh, I'll be seeing you again soon, I'm sure, and looking forward to writing with you again, too. Awesome. Thank you, Riley. All right. Thanks for watching us here at the shack in the back at Riley's Roost in Nashville, Tennessee. One, two, three, four. Rock
on the kissing But it's all good All good in the neighborhood Yeah, yeah, with a house full of party Speakers full of music Boys full of whiskey Girls about to lose it Everybody's rocking the whole place is shaking Yeah, the throw down ain't gonna slow down. Lose control.